everybody, welcome back to another episode of Romaine Healthy. We are going to be making hot chocolate today. I have my assistant, my daughter Libby Jones here. She um, actually helped me discover this recipe. We were out in the snow last weekend, a whole quarter of an inch playing in the snow making snow angels. When we came in she was excited about hot chocolate. And I never really know what to do about hot chocolate since going plant-based because... Um, Mom, yes. you're not making snow angels. You were. You were covering me in snow. Oh, we were dumping snow on each other, scooping it up. And she wanted to come in and make hot chocolate, and I said, well, I know those little packets have milk in them, and they have all these other ingredients that aren't so good for you. I have found it very difficult to find a hot chocolate mix without any dairy or cow milk in it. Little did I know until doing this video that it's not only milk or dairy I should worry about, but other ingredients in there that aren't healthy at all, including sugar, corn syrup, modified whey, which is a milk protein that can cause things like acne, indigestion, and even increased risk of some cancers, just like regular dairy. The other thing that's in there is hydrogenated coconut oil. Coconut oil is a saturated fat, so despite what the marketing industry want you to believe that this is a very healthy oil that you need for your diet and the more the better. It is actually one that is uh, advised that you try to limit. It is the same kind of fat that you find in butter, beef, and palm oil. The hydrogenated part of it actually, actually makes it even more unhealthy. It increases the melting point, which is good for the product, but it actually makes it more saturated, so therefore even more of a health issue. Another thing I was surprised to see was that it contains artificial sweeteners like a salsafame and grillose, which have been shown to increase weight gain as well and are unhealthy. We top it all off with some artificial flavors, which are made from inedible ingredients and are chemicals that probably also pose health risks as well. So we made our own little invention, isn't that right? Very good. So today we're going to help you make a very easy cup of hot chocolate. Easy. And I didn't want to even put anything on the pot and heat it up. You want something really quick and easy. So what I thought of was you can make soup in the Vitamix, so why not make hot chocolate and just make it hot in here? So for this recipe, there are three ingredients that you really need to have. The rest is kind of an addition to help spice it up a little bit or make it more interesting. The first ingredient that you start with is milk. I love the plain unsweetened soy milk that West Soy makes, but of course you can add the flavor with the vanilla that would also taste really delicious. The second ingredient is cocoa powder. It has a lot of awesome health properties like reducing high blood pressure, reducing your risk of heart attack, and improving symptoms of diabetes. There are many, many of just plain cocoa powder. So cocoa powder is just one ingredient without the fat and sugar, and that's where people say you get your health properties from. It's when you start to add all the other ingredients that you get in trouble. And lastly, we have maple syrup. So pure maple syrup, there's not artificial sweeteners in there. Just be careful with that if you're trying to watch your weight. And then last but not least, we have the vanilla and cinnamon, just to spice it up a little bit, make it more flavorful. I fill it about two thirds full and then pour it into the Vitamix. Do you wanna hold that blender up, Lynn? Okay. People can see. So I don't fill it up all the way. That counts kind of as one glass that will go in here. And then two. Because what happens is when you puree it, it gets really frothy and a lot of air comes in. So when you do fill up your mug, it's actually going to go to the top. Why is that crisp? I know. So I use um, soy milk. And you can use almond milk, hemp milk, oat milk. Just don't use cow milk. That's the purpose of this is to try to make it healthier than um, the regular kind of hot chocolate. And then we do one for each of us, a tablespoon of cocoa powder in there for each person. And the other thing is maybe a tablespoon or so of the pure maple syrup in here. Mm. Yeah. Yum, 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 if it, yum, yum. you need it sweeter, then just put a little more in. You can also add dates for a natural sugar. 
And then we'll put a little bit of vanilla in too. What did you do with the vanilla, Libby? Oh, here we go. Uh, I didn't take the vanilla. All right, so I put about a, um, a teaspoon, this is half, so a teaspoon of vanilla. Yes, two teaspoons. You can mix it with a whisk and then boil it on the stove, but it's just so easy to let the Vitamix do all the work, don't you think, Lynn? It smells so good, yeah. It does smell really good. <laughs> oh, chocolate. On my Vitamix, and probably on yours too if you have one, there's a little soup button. So if you ever make soup and want to blend it, we can definitely do a video on that. Um, you just hit this and it's going to blend and blend until it gets warm and then makes a soup so you don't even have to heat anything up on the stove. So of course make sure your lid is on securely. I tell you this because I've messed this up before just to keep everything going. And lid, do you know how to hit the soup? I hit the soup button. You want to hit the start button? it on the outside it feels a little bit warm you probably don't have to do it the whole way with the soup mix because I don't know if it's gonna be too much but if you carefully open the top miss lib you can see that it's very frothy in there does it smell good yep. do you want to use your Margaret, that that mug will oh, yeah. taste it. Mm. Ooh. Perfect. Now at this time you can sprinkle a little cinnamon on, but you don't want cinnamon on yours. No. All right. Now it's. Let's see what happens. Is it sweet enough? So I put in a tablespoon or a heaping tablespoon for every cup that we're gonna make. And today we're gonna make two mug full of hot chocolate, one for Libby, who just passed a little stinky <laughs> gas, and then one for me. <laughs> so first, we need to do that. So guys, if you do like this recipe, you might also like my Wendy's Frosty recipe. So this tastes like a delicious Wendy's Frosty with only three or four ingredients. Check out the link down below. This is another one of Libby's favorites. On um, When you're craving something that you um, don't think you can have anymore, there is definitely a vegan or plant-based version. So don't be upset or feel deprived in any way. There's definitely a way to do it. So that's what we do at Romaine Healthy. We take all those things that you're craving and we make them plant-based or vegan. So you'll never have to feel deprived. You're always going to be satisfied. And not only that, you're going to get a huge boost in your health just to help you guys remain healthy. For now, thank all of you guys. And I would definitely encourage you to please subscribe to our videos. The more subscribers that we have, the more motivated we are to make more videos. And give us a thumbs up and tune in next time. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Thanks, guys.